Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday Morning. It's Stephen Whiteside here from TheUptrend.com. In the pre-market this morning, stock index futures and commodities are down across the board. Dow futures currently down 200 points. Yesterday was a fairly lightly traded day. Canadian markets were closed. Uh, yesterday was an inside day for uh, many of the major indices, including the VIX. On uh, Tuesday, we're looking for the VIX to close below $14.19. That would change us from being short-term bearish to being short-term bullish. And uh, at the moment, it doesn't look like that's going to happen on Tuesday. Now, it's very easy to notice that the S&P 500 had an inside day on Monday, trading with a, in the previous day's range. That, of course, is a day of indecision. Of course, the headlines are very positive, but that's not exactly what happened. Looking at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ actually uh, dipped slightly below Friday's low before recovering, and uh, volume was very light. The Qs on Monday only traded uh, 37 million shares and change. On Friday, that was 61 million so a lot more people interested in selling on Friday than buying on Monday. Uh, there's the uh, uh, Russell 2000 uh, closing higher yesterday, making a new low for this move. Uh, very, very quiet day for the chips on Monday. Still on a sell signal, no change there. Apple continued to move lower on Monday. And since the rebalancing, uh, the Apple isn't having as um, much of an effect on the market as it uh, previously did. Uh, we are coming into the flypaper channel. This is a place we'd look to see if Apple could uh, find some footing here and uh, find new buyers. Uh, we are down at the 100-day moving average, heading towards the 200-day moving average. Our next mathematical target is 175, and just above that is an open gap. So uh, that is certainly a legitimate target for Tuesday. Uh, looking at Tesla, Tesla made a new low yesterday before recovering, still closing lower on the day. It regained the $250 level at the close. There is an open gap not too far below where we are right now. And if that gap doesn't hold, then 218.75 would be our next mathematical target to the downside. And you can see the 100 and 200 day moving average is uh, around the 225 level. And you can see that uh, that would take us into the flypaper channel as well. So looking for places to find uh, support at the moment. And so far, uh, the market has not stopped moving lower. Now, the TSX 60 was up uh, $6.95 on Friday. It is down $4.10 in the pre-market. So not going to catch any of uh, Monday's uh, positive trading action on Tuesday morning. We do have commodities down across the board. Uh, crude oil pulled back yesterday. Remember, 81.25 was our uh, top of our projected trading range. We've now expanded that and uh, looking to see if we can continue higher. We're not going to do that on Tuesday morning. Uh, natural gas had a great day on Monday, back up to the 273 level, level on the futures contract. And unfortunately, it's uh, pulling back a bit in the pre-market this morning. Now, energy stocks in the U.S. were up just slightly on Monday. And uh, so I would expect that energy stocks on both sides of the border will be down on Tuesday. And then looking at uh, gold, it was down yesterday. It's down in the pre-market this morning. Silver is also down in the pre-market this morning. I don't think that's going to help gold and silver stocks. And uh, the GDX was down yesterday a little over three quarters of a percent. I would expect the uh, XGD to be down uh, one or two percent on Tuesday. Now, last up this morning, the biggest loser on Monday were biotech stocks, and that probably had something to do with Moderna, which was down over 6% on the day. So certainly no change in trend for either of those. Okay, everyone, that is all for Tuesday morning. As you can see, uh, while Monday got uh, some very positive headlines, it really didn't do anything. The trade is still to the downside and uh, not expecting any trend changes on Tuesday, but we may see some additional sell signals. Enjoy the rest of your day. Next time you'll hear my voice is on Wednesday morning.